Hello there, boys and girls of the Minecraft universe, Centronet here with another tutorial on the channel. And today, after a boatload of comments and questions in my videos for trimming the end and resetting the nether, I am finally ready to put a video out on a safe way that you can take your Minecraft saves off of your Xbox, put them on a USB drive, and work with them on a PC. So, I'm going to show you guys how to get the files off of the Xbox on your USB drive, and then you guys can follow the other tutorials that I have on the channel on how you can actually work with them on the PC. So this is like covering half of it. I don't want to go through the whole thing again because I've already got the other videos out there and you guys have been actually asking these questions on those videos. So we're going to dive right in. This really is not a hard thing to do. All you need obviously is an Xbox and a USB drive. The one thing that I did have to do with the USB drive is I had to plug it into the back of my Xbox. When I tried to use the port that was on the side or on the front, you know, in that corner, I couldn't get it to work. It would only work on the back of the device. Um, there's an app that's in the Xbox store that's called My Files Explorer, which I have installed right here. I'm going to take you guys over to the store so you can see the pricing. Um, it comes with a free trial that I think lasts for 30 days. I've had this thing for a long time, so if it's not 30 days, don't get overly mad at me. Um, I'm going to run over to the store. It's very, very, very cheap if you do end up buying it. And it's very useful. And like I said, it's safe. So since I already bought it, it's not going to show the pricing on here. But if I come over to buy as a gift, I'm pretty sure it'll show the price. Come on. Don't show my credit card number. All right, we're good. <laughs> so it's $259 plus tax, and that's in USD. So that is very reasonable for all the stuff that this can do. And if you've got a bunch of worlds that you're going to want to, you know, trim the end on or reset the nether on, it's a really, really useful tool. I'm going to come over and I'm going to go ahead and launch it. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Like I said, it is very easy. Once you get your USB drive connected, you're in business. So it has a really simple interface. There really isn't a whole lot to, to this, but it lets you do a lot of cool stuff. So under removable storage devices, this is where it will show your USB drive. Someone named this one sub to Centronet. They're genius. <laughs> what? I got to get my plug in on my own videos, right? Isolated storage is all of the other files and folders that are on the Xbox that you can't see through their regular file explorer. So this is really cool and really, really useful. Um, up here in the address bar, what we're going to do first is click on packages. This is where all of the things that you install on the Xbox go into. They go into this folder. And there are different views that will show up for this. Uh, by default, it showed up looking like this with just the folder names and pictures of folders. I don't like that personally, so if you just click on the three dots up here and change it to a list view, which is this one, then you can get more of the name and actually see what you're working with. So from here, we're going to scroll down. Uh, we're going to go down to, where are you? Right there. So it's Microsoft.Minecraft, UWP, console, underscore, and a whole bunch of letters. Just look for Minecraft. It's right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click to go into the folder. And in here, there's a local state folder. We're going to go ahead and click on that one. And in here, we have games. We have com.mojang, so if you guys play on phones or play on PCs and you mess around with the files, you guys have seen this folder before. And in here, there is a Minecraft Worlds folder. With me so far? I hope so. <laughs> so, this lists all of the saves that you have on your Xbox. I'm going to pick on the one that is on top and show you guys a really cool trick because the folder name does not correlate to the name of the game that you actually see when you're playing it. I'm going to go ahead and go in, and down here, there's a levelname.txt file. If you open that, that will show you the name that shows up while you're in game. So this one is called the Night Before Nightmare Before Christmas. This is a Windows Store map that is absolutely awesome. I love it. It's one of the mashup packs, and we were playing that over the weekend. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to go back out to the Minecraft Worlds folder, since this is the one that I want to work with. And it is still up there on top. If you hover over it, and if you push start, then it's going to give you some options of what you can do with it. So, go down to copy folder. 
Make sure that you make a copy of it. Guys, back up your worlds before you do this. No matter what, make sure that you have a backup of your world. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. I'm gonna come back over to removable storage devices. I'm gonna go into my USB drive and I'm gonna paste it here. Now, I did a dry run of this before, so this is the copy that I took before. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that just so that we don't have any conflicts. It goes through, yes, yes, deleting, 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 deleting. You figured I would have been prepared for this video, and I was, I was testing it first. So now we're just gonna click on anything over here in the white space, and then if you click your start button, you can then go down to paste. And it might take a minute, depending on how big the world is, just whatever you do, let it finish. So now what you can do is you can actually take the USB drive out of your Xbox and you can plug it into your PC and then down in the description, and then I'll probably pin it also, there is a video that I've got for trimming the nether and resetting the end without having the Windows 10 version of the game. Follow the steps in there. And then once you're done with that, come back because right now I'm gonna show you how you can put the world back on your Xbox. All right, here we go. <laughs> put a little pause in there so you guys had enough time to uh, you know, pause the video, go over, do all that stuff, and then come back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that I just plugged my USB drive back into my Xbox. Here is my USB drive right there. Here is the world that we have been working with. You're gonna do a start on this. You're going to do a copy like we did before and you're going to come back over to isolated storage i'm going to go a little bit faster this time i think <laughs> you're going to click on packages it's basically the same thing we did before just in reverse so i'm back in the packages folder i'm going to scroll down to microsoft.minecraft where are you minecraft there it is minecraft uwp console we're going to go back into local state. We're going to go back into games. Tom.mojang. Minecraft worlds. And then you're going to just want to make sure that you remove the copy that you had before. So like I said, make sure that you have backups by going into the Minecraft game under settings. Go all the way down to the bottom and you can do a copy. I recommend you do that because you should come in here. Remove the one that you had before and ask you, are you sure? Go ahead and say yes. Goes through, deletes the whole thing. Gone, 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 gone. And then click start. Uh, you've got to be down in a white space. Come on, come on, cooperate. Thank you. That. Guys, I knew this was going to be an issue. There are too many folders there. Oh, it'll let you do it right there from the menu up top. Jeez Louise. <laughs> I don't know. I'm losing my mind. So now it is pasted back in there. And you can actually go and open this up in the Minecraft game on your console. And whatever work you did with it while it was over on PC, that's gonna carry over and you can do this for all of your worlds. It's really, 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 really cool. So I hope this is helpful helpful for everybody. Like I said, I'll have links down in the description and probably pinned in the comments on the videos that would follow this to be able to reset the nether and also trim the end. So I hope this help you guys helps you guys out. For those of you that play on Switch and PS4, I'm working on it. Um, I've got some ideas, but I haven't been able to find a safe way to do it on either one of those consoles yet. So if you guys have any ideas or if you know how to do it, let me know. I will, of course, give you credit for it in the event that I find it working and I put a video out. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go down there and smash up, smash that thumbs up button. <laughs> and if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe. If you're not new, thank you for coming back and always showing me support. I really do appreciate it. This is Centronet, and I'm out.